The last time we talked about Mr. Logan, he made his 3,000 something, I lost count, biggest mistake of his life, where he decided to shatak Mr. Coffeezilla to keep him quiet, but one thing he didn't know is Mr. Coffeezilla is going to shatak him back by exposing him. Logan Paul is suing me for CryptoZoo only a year after he thanked me for it. Rather than pay back his victims fully, Logan would rather publicly humiliate himself in court by accusing me of defaming him. At this point, I really think Mr. Logan Paul is allergic to good reputation. He has a kink. Maybe he actually does. He has a kink of ruining his reputation day by day. And I made another video talking about the prime lawsuit, $68 million, where Logan and his partners decided to break the contract and he was shut off with a $68 million lawsuit. And he hasn't replied to any of the two huge things that happened in the past month, but he decided to reply to a drama a accusation that happened four years ago but they're, they're bringing it back to light just yesterday and he decided to reply to this the dog situation from 2020 where mr logan his friends and his dog went on a yacht to shoot a youtube video and that is where the dog incident happened now this is just one of the few hundred people who are posting this saying logan paul is a donkey he tried to play it off that the dog jumped but you can clearly see his hands pushing it which means the dog fell in front and the boat went over him now there's a saying in the youtube community that anything for those views and logan paul was the creator of that saying i'm not gonna reply to it yet let's just go watch the video and then we're gonna talk about it Broly! I'm going in. I'm going in. Come here, buddy. Bro, what the f I haven't been scared Why? like this in a while. I can't have you doing that. No more of that, okay? We're in the middle of a lake. You're used to swimming in a pool in Encino. There's a big difference, okay? Take it easy from now on. Promise me. <laughs> and more people on Twitter are saying Logan Paul attempted to unalive his dog by pushing him into, into a boat for content and then pretends to help him by jumping in the water. Now, it truly takes a very evil person to do something like this. Throw a human. No one cares. But when you throw a dog or a cat for content endangering their life for content, that is crossing the line. And Logan Paul is known for not knowing where the line is, crossing it, jumping over it, doing push-ups on it, kicking the line, bringing it back, losing the line, doesn't know where he is. He's known for that after the Japan incident. And I watched this video 20, 30 times to see if it was any push. I decided to do geometry, geography, biology to see where it was he pushed the wind direction, the speed of the wind, the speed of the dog. Is there any gravity on the body of the dog and i can confidently say that the dog was not pushed even logan paul responded to one of these videos that got three four million views on twitter saying this posting a picture and saying four years later and still go tickle yourself this was the comment that he pinned on that video four years ago saying clarifying in the comments we would never ever ever push broly off the boat i'm sorry english left the chat off the boat he jumped and a hand was behind him petting him and when he jumped we attempted to grab him but for a fact we did not push him that is exactly how it seems like after watching the video 20 30 times watch his body language and you can very evidently see a self-induced and independent jump from the little mutt thanks for coming to my, to my ted talk now apparently when it comes to scamming people allegedly obviously did i say allegedly he doesn't make a reply but when it comes to a dog situation saying maybe this triggered him somehow or he's been you know holding himself off his lawyer's been telling him not to respond to any of the allegations the three four thousand uh, cases that you have against you keep it to yourself but this one it really pissed him off and he decided to come forward and talk about it even though it's very obvious to like adults and non tro adults that he was not pushed he was actually being guarded not to jump but he just slipped because maybe he saw a dolphin waving at him or he saw his own reflection and wanted to jump in the water maybe it was too hot god fucking knows these people who are posting these things they're just trolls trying to make a story just to shit on logan paul ruin his image even though my friends he has no image what, what is the point point? and logan wh why are you protecting your image when there is no image well he decided to make a one minute 20 second video replying to this whole thing in today's episode of what can we make up about logan paul to get him canceled a video from four years ago circulating where my dog broly jumped off a of Oh. They're trying to say that I pushed my dog off the boat for content, which look, I know I've done some crazy stuff for content, but this accusation is on some serial killer shit. So the first thing I did was immediately revisit the original video. And even back then, four years ago, I had clarified in the comment section, pinned comment that he was not pushed. Also, if you know anything about dogs, watch his body language.
language, his head is straight, his eyes are locked onto something. Broly is the one who initiated the jump from a pouncing position, and his tail as well remains curled throughout the jump. If he were pushed, like forced to get off the boat against his will, he would have been scared and his tail would have been tucked between his legs, but since it was curled, it shows that he was comfortable and it shows that it was a self-induced jump. Now for the hands, there are two hands, one on the top of his back, one on his tail to try to prevent him from jumping in, but he obviously escaped our grasp and jumped in anyways, and you can see the one on the top, which I believe was my hand, kind of like follow him in just because I was trying to keep him from going and he went in the water and so then I had to go in after. Now two of the original tweets saying that I pushed my dog in the water were deleted after I responded with the original video in slow motion and HD and said four years later and still go f yourself which was my original response when this happened because this is so like ridiculous to me I'm not even having this conversation go f yourself but yeah I am extremely thankful for people that did have my back even people that don't like me still have my back which was nice and oh yeah there's high definition video evidence to support what I'm saying. No problem Logan Paul always happy to help. Now pay back the people you scammed. Allegedly. Did I say allegedly? Because it is allegedly. Thank you. Now back in January 2023, a sanctuary saved Logan Paul's former pet after she was found abandoned and hurt. Now Logan Paul for his YouTube video, he decided to adopt a very, very huge chunky boy. And it is being alleged that after a while, he realized how hard it was to keep this big chunky boy in his garden. So he decided to allegedly abandon this chunky boy and that is when in january 9th a tiktok detailing pearl's recovery the, the chunky boy's name was pearl recovery story the gentle barn said that they received a call about a pig abandoned in a field when rescuers responded they found a serious injured animal she came to us with a tattered ear and a potential life-threatening infection in her uterus uh, i guess it wasn't a chunky boy it was a chunky girl that has since been healed she clearly been through so much trauma that we can't begin to imagine but she's now safe with us at the gentle barn from what we've been told it's believed she was purchased originally from a breeder by an influencer and what was logan paul's response to all of this he said that pearl was Rehamat, I don't know what the fuck this means. If you know proper English, translate this for me. To an amazing ranch that I visited in Santa Clarita when I moved to Puerto Rico. I was unable to bring her to the island. So she lived happily for 10 months before the owner sold the ranch. She was Rehamat, what the f- Anyways, with, uh, with, you know, my knowledge to the farmer across the street. So he's claiming when he moved to Puerto Rico, he couldn't bring the pig to the island. I don't see the reason why you can't bring a pig to an island that is yours like a fifty thousand square feet probably or more which sounds like an excuse he just doesn't have the heart and he thinks he's going to be hated if he says that he just doesn't like pearl anymore and doesn't want to keep her and just doesn't have the time or wants the responsibility in the first place honestly if he would be honest about this he would have been respected more and he said he gave it to this rancher and the rancher sold the thing and i don't know what happened to this pig the rancher probably dumped her we still don't know. Logan Paul didn't give us any proof, just his statement. We don't know what to believe. Overall, it was just a very random drama and Logan decided to address it for some reason. He could have literally ignored it and people would have been fine by it. But instead of replying to all the accusations about the CoffeeZilla situation, Prime situation and the other 5,000 accusations he has against them, he decided to reply to the dog situation. Logan, pay, pay your fan. But I guess this was passing the limits for him with these accusations and he wanted to come on the internet and say how dare you this is not me i would never ever 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 in my life do anything to my dog you know how much i love my dog you accuse me of scamming millions of dollars from my own audience that have been supporting me that to take me where i am today but how dare you cross the line when you say i would do anything to my dog i honestly don't i feel like logan paul's line of crossing is just opposite he doesn't know where the line is that's why i said he was doing push-ups backflips on his uh, cross the line anyway just thought i'll share this new drama with you i also have a mini announcement this is for if you've been watching me for a while or if you are new here it's your first time i am not going to be live streaming anymore for a while at least i will be turning my second channel which was originally for posting my you know stream clips onto it call me kush on youtube but instead i will be but instead i will be doing commentary youtube video games this is for people who are for the laptops computer tvs this is going to be long form type of walkthrough commentary just have a good time chill and with the first game i'll be doing with this whole new decoration of the new channel we'll be playing the monkey game and on my new channel i identify as a professional gamer the monkey game takes 50 hours to finish but i'm gonna break the world record on finishing it in 200 hours anyways let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this dog situation like the video if you enjoy it subscribe to this channel or if you're into gaming as well subscribe to the comic channel you can find it on my homepage on this channel 
But yeah, take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.